Hi, everybody. Um, so yeah, let's start this uh, new weekly infra meeting. The first topic that I want to cover is um, according to Paul, we can move the meeting times meeting time uh, at 4.30 uh, UTC. I mean, that's the time that where most of the people um, are available. So I hope we will have more people next week. Um, so the second topic, I mean, it was quick. The second topic is regarding the migration from ACS to AKS. Most of the services that we need on now were running on AKS. The only one that we did not migrate is repo.azure.jenkins.io, which is an Nginx proxy cache. Um, we put that service in place three years ago because we had a lot of timeout issues with Artifactory, but those issues seem to be gone now. So I'm just wondering if we can just stop that service um, so we don't have to migrate that service and we can just uh, update um, every mention of that reported Azure to just Jenkins, or reported Jenkins yet of org. So that's one of the topics. I don't know if you have any inputs on this. No. no. Could we just swap it over before it needs to be, before it's going to get shut off and see how it goes for the next week or so? Yes. Yeah, so because we can, we still have two weeks before ACS is done, we can just, um, yeah, we just update all the, the repository by the end of the week. And so if there is anything wrong, we can still deploy the service in the new cluster. Um, um, the next topic is also uh, regarding Fastly. Um, so I contacted uh, the support um, of Fastly and they told me that um, normally they should support us, but I was supposed to contact someone else. Um, so my support ticket is still open as long as I don't have any news from um, the people working on the OSS part. So I, mean, I'm, I hope that we, we will have positive answer, but until now, um, for them, they thought that they were supporting Jenkins uh, already, but I cannot find any mention of that uh, in the infrastructure or in either from Taylor. So um, to me, I don't, yeah, know if, I, I don't know if someone else just, um, uh, someone else is sponsored on behalf of Jenkins. Or, I mean, I have no idea what's the current status there. But, but, uh, yeah. So in the past, so I, I had a play around um, and some Jenkins, Dash CI .org stuff has been created in Fastly because I wasn't able to create it. Um, mm -hmm. So I was I was messing around with some um, Jenkins IO, and then I tried to service on Jenkins CI .org and it said another Fastly customer has got this configured. Um, so it has been configured at some point on the dash CI .org domain. Yep. So that's basically what I was what I what I, what I'm looking for. Um, the funny part is the first time when I contact them, they just said, oh, you know, you should contact, you should go to Jenkins.a website. Uh, it's a CSD server. And we're just, no, my point is just who is using, who is, who is I mean, who are, who are you sponsoring? Because it's definitely not the Jenkins project. Um, so yeah, anyway, so this, this, this um, thing is pending right now. Um, there is another topic where I would like to have more inputs, which is the Google Analytics. So the CDF folks uh, asked to add more people on the Google Analytics account. Um, so um, until today, uh, only, so yeah, until recently it was only Kazuke, Tyler, um, Alisa, and me who, had access, who have access to the, um, to the Google Analytics account. Now we also have Oleg. And I have to add Ulrich and Alex as more board member. So for them, it's pretty obvious and it's totally fine. The question that I have and I raised when the city has asked me to, to add more people is um, what would be the rule to add people? What would be the rule to remove people? And what would be the rules um, to use uh, Jenkins data? Because right now we don't have any like data policy, like um, you have access to do the monitoring, you have access to the analytics, you have access to whatever. And you could do, you can do basically what you want to do with it. Because for example, the only thing that you have in place right now is a contributor license agreement, which only cover um, the codes that you are providing to the project. So I don't know what would be the next step uh, regarding that project. Um, yeah, I don't know if you have any inputs on this. Yeah, I would firstly like to understand what exactly CDF needs in terms of data, um, because yeah. Access to analytics is quite wide, yep. especially since we have um, a number of services connected there. So, 
I assume that I have it. Uh, but yeah. for me, if you could uh, set up a kind of data policy, it would be nice. Uh, probably it's uh, something to raise to Daniel because uh, Daniel is security officer. He might uh, provide some feedback in terms of what would be security uh, conditions uh, for granting conditional access. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think there is need uh, to do it in hurry. And uh, if a CDF wants uh, any specific data, they can just specify their request and we can probably uh, publish data. Okay. I'll do that for now. Um, the other topic, the next topic is regarding the Azure functions. Um, so I spent some time this morning to understand how it was configured in the past, how it was configured, how, it, how it's working. And the thing is right now it's not really transparent because either you have access to the Azure account and you can debug things or um, you don't have access and then it's quite difficult to, to understand what's happening and so um, i'm just wondering uh why what uh what are your feedback on this topic um the main reason what i'm asking is because we have uh several open uh, tickets open issues regarding the um incremental service and it's open since beginning of december and yeah we have i mean it would be nice to move this forward so do we have any alternatives to uh, using Azure functions? Are people interested to work on this? I don't know if you have any inputs. Mm. I don't have strong opinion. Yeah, I joked uh, about the Jenkins file runner somewhere in the IRC. Uh, I don't have a strong opinion about that uh, because yeah, still you would need to run them from somewhere. Well, my, my, the, main, the main problem that I have right now with the Azure function is that to access the logs or whatever, you need to access the Azure accounts and we are quite restrictive on who can access the Azure accounts. So I granted read only access to Jesse so he can debug. Um, he can, I mean, he has access to the logs, but he cannot change anything. And each time you need to change something on those functions, you need someone with, I mean, I mean, with right permission on the accounts. And, yeah, one question know. about that is, um, is it possible to resolve it on the Jenkins side? Because if we hit uh, such issue in, on our infrastructure, maybe it's something uh, which impacts other Jenkins users? So the, so, the, the, function, the function doesn't work even from um, the Azure portal. So from the Azure portal, oh. some test and it does not work. Mm -hmm. so it was just easier to debug um. from there, but um, the error, the error log is, um, I mean, really unclear. Like, um, I think I updated some from the ticket that I was working on this morning, and I couldn't find any information regarding that. Um, yeah, but so maybe we should either um, organize a session where we only work on that, like in a shared with a shared screen. Mm -hmm. So I can plan this for the, the this week and next week. That's an email on the Okay. If you could uh, find someone uh, who would be willing to help us, I mean, from Microsoft or from basically whomever who has some experience with it. I, I mean, I can have a fellow with it. Um, I don't think it'll take much. Okay. Well, I've had a poker. I've, I've played with it before. I've ran it locally. It's quite easy to run. Okay. My point, personally, I, I mean, I don't want to set up an environment for that locally. So, if you already have everything yeah. in place, that would be easier. Yeah, I've already, I've already got it locally. Okay, so I'll ping you later. Um, regarding another, regarding the automated release, um, there is nothing new yet. Um, still the same. We are waiting for a digital inputs. So we cannot um, move that project uh, at, the, at the moment. And finally, uh, still regarding the automated release, um, um, uh, last Friday I tried to run my mirror bits. Um, 
I have a Docker container, but for some reason I have 500 euros right now, so it's not working. So I should try to find some time by the end of the week to make it working. But I already have a shot um, ready and a Docker container, so I guess um, it's a matter to identify what's wrong right now. But uh, my plan is uh, to remove, to replace Mirror Brain by Mirror Bits um, in the new automated yeah. release process. Otherwise, um, the, this is pretty old for, for, for the last week, so I don't know if you have any topic that you want to discuss right now. Uh, for me, one question was about the Jenkins Evergreen. So, yeah, at the last uh, board meeting, we agreed to have it. So, we lost you, Alec. The only thing that we hear from you was the last meeting you agreed, and that's it. Tyler's archived the repository. Sorry? Uh, Tyler's archived the Evergreen repository. Okay. Is my audio working now? Yes, it's working. Yeah, so Tyler archived the repositories. Uh, we also approved the immediate shutdown. Okay. Uh, so basically, you can shut it down uh, when you feel it's convenient. So basically, what I did right now is yeah. I I removed the DNS record, so um, just arrived nowhere now is this. And mm -hmm. the question that I have is regarding the database. Should I just delete the database? Do you think it contains valuable information? Do, should I need a backup of that database? I personally, I would just delete it. Um, mm, yeah. So it follows configuration as code. Uh, yes. So the database is used for tracking upgrades or something like that, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Well, we can recreate it. So yes. this is the database was used to the, just to query the data. So um, otherwise, then I will just delete the database. And um, so I already started working on the provisioning, but um, I'm not done yet. Mm -hmm. any, any other topics? Nope, then thanks for your time. Have a Thank good you. day.